Hi, thank you for watching this video. So one thing that kept bothering me is the weird appearance of these uh, adding revision cloud by curve node or the adding revision cloud node in Revit API. So here I have this simple script where I select three elements, I get their bounding box, I get their bounding box projections on this current view plane, and I'm going to create revisions using those bounding box curves like that. And if I select this bounding box, uh, revision, sorry, and go stretch, see I can stretch this, but as soon as I select another one, see that this behavior, I won't be able to stretch that one. And if I delete this and run this again. And now this time I select the B. I will be stretched to B, but if I go to A, so I won't be stretching A. Seems like whenever I create more than two uh, bounding box, there is I can only stretch the first one but none of the others. This is a um, problem. So because if we create revision cloud like that, we won't be able to fully utilize that when they're not like connected. So let's look at some other options. Here I have this same uh, structure and I've tried to use a list map to create the three curves. I tried to use lacing to go lacing longest to create the revision cloud. I tried to create individual view and individual revisions so that um, each of the curves get their single view and revision title. I tried to fit in individual curves to individual node and run this. So each node create only one revision cloud like that, and yet I still won't be able to stretch all of them. And here I have this, where I use individual transactions to create cloud. So each of them is a individual step in Revit. The same thing would happen. Well, basically say I tried most of these options, the uh, complete Python script using clockwork node. None of them will help me creating revision clouds that can be stretched um, when you're creating multiple revisions. And this is the problem. I'd really like to hear what you would have to um, think about this and if there is a solution out there. Okay, um, so here's this fourth problem. Let's talk about the others. Um, when we're looking at groups of element, we create revision cloud around them. Uh, around each individual element, but only if there's a way where we can uh, like group them by their uh, proximity or whether this geometry intersect with the other. So here I have this small Python script that helped me achieve this functions. Uh, let's demonstrate it over here. If I go select these element and notice how it's generating the group because of their intersectings on the geometry. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, I, J. If I move it over here and if I do it again, now it's going to bring C into this group. If I separate C, you have C into its own groups. 
So in this method, I will be able to um, easily create groups of element and controlling them that way. So if I try it this way, now get A, B, C, D, and the rest of them in one group. This script, this Python node, will help me create um, more consistent revision clouds, more natural looks revision clouds, that is. OK. And then there is this challenge. So um, in the past, I've created these um, scripts to add cloud around each element. For example, let's try this one. So these scripts will create revision cloud around every single element. I select all of them and I create cloud like that. And there's this one that creates revision cloud on all the element. It will generate things like this or like this. But one of the problems is when it comes to a family like this, um, as a single rectangle family, sorry, these uh, that's a rectangle family like this, and when I'm looking at it works fine when I'm doing it over here on the floor plan. But if I'm looking at a um, section that is not um, straight, I create revision cloud around this. It will become something like that. This is because it's using the bounding box and the uh, projection lines of bounding box around the um, section, the cut sections. So the bounding box is the um, diagonal line here governing by the minimum point and the maximum point. So if looking at straight, I create a curve like that, that's fine. Looking on the side view, you create a curve like this. But when it's looking somewhere like here, where your section is not straight, the bounding box projection curves on plane will look like something like here. That's why it is creating things like this, where your curve is not covering, covering the whole element. In which case you need to um, include other curves about the geometry to create the correct uh, revision cloud. If ever you have these kind of scenarios where you, um, whether your element is rotated or you section box, is rotated anyway when you um, element having angle to the sections you might encounter the weird shape bounding boxes that being said this script the add clouds new will uh, incorporate the geometry test that we showed before and solving the bounding box problems and now if we go to here we look at this in the past, if we want to adding revision clouds to all these uh, elements on this rack, we'll have to go like add a cloud around each element, select these four, and go add, and add cloud around all element. Go one, two, three, four. It's not um, it's fast, and but it's not fast enough. So now we can do add cloud new, and select all of these. We will group them using the geometry test that we showed before, and add cloud like that. Perfect. And it works fine when you have these slanted views. So in the past, these script will like this. See that it's weird shaped, not having the same offset around each side. But if we use this, 
with more lines considered in the bounding box, it creates this perfect curves around all these elements. And I'll have control over the um, behaviors of these. For example, if I go here and group, increase the group margin, instead of creating three cloud, now it will group these two, creating two cloud. And if I increase the cloud offset from element, I'll also be able to create cloud that are further from the element than the original ones. So now with this, adding revision cloud has become much more easier and much more intuitive. We can also, using Revit 2018, the Dynamo player, controlling the um, revisions, I can easily add another revision. Once I add a revision, over here I can select the next revision and creating cloud tagged with number 2, easily. So, this is the new revision cloud script and in the next session we're going to talk about a more advanced use about this script and this function. Thank you.